Adobe is going all in on AI. Here are the latest AI announcements to come out of Adobe during the NAB conference in Las Vegas. Okay, let's take a deep dive. Now, if you've watched my channel for a bit, you'll know I'm a fan of artificial intelligence and specifically generative AI to help augment and enhance content creators. Adobe are not shy of AI and they're making every signal that they're doubling down, going all in, you know, splitting the aces, that kind of thing on AI. So let's hop straight into it. And I think you're going to want to see all of these features because they're incredible. First of all, imagine, and we've seen sneaks of this, adding or removing an object inside Premiere Pro. Okay, you can do this generatively. That's the power of Adobe's AI. We did see a sneak where you could bound around people and remove them from the background of a video. That looks pretty cool. And then you could like select a little bit of the shirt that a guy's wearing and suddenly make him so that he's wearing a tie as he walks along. And that's not all. You've got object addition, object removal, but you also have something called generative extend coming soon. And that will allow you to take a clip that looks really cool, like this one, lovely cat. And then, oh, it's ended. But if you just zoop, zip it out, you can actually extend that by a certain amount of frames or seconds to fill time. So as video creators, we're definitely going to be augmented by Adobe's Firefly AI, the ability to add, remove, and even extend scenes right inside Adobe Premiere Pro coming soon. Now, object addition, object removal, and generative extend are said to be coming sometime this year, which means we're going to get our hands on that technology very soon indeed. Now, that's not everything they announced at the National Association of Broadcasters Conference in Las Vegas. They're actually focusing on a very open and collaborative approach with other AI companies. And I think this is really smart and forward thinking. They're integrating the cutting edge AI technologies right into Premiere Pro soon that will allow you to work with your favorite generative AI tool. Companies like OpenAI and their Sora tool, which is absolutely incredible. There's also Pika Labs, and we've seen how creative the stuff is to come out of Pika, that will be available too. And there's Runway ML, which is like the big one that's been around for a while now. So as part of Adobe's new suite of AI tools, they will seamlessly integrate into Premiere Pro, kind of on the level of a plugin that you might use to do a certain effect inside Premiere Pro. But this will be a native integration where they, they are basically AI agnostic and say, whatever tool you like, you'll be able to work with it right inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And I think that's really cool. But wait, there's more. How about lip sync? Yes, you may have missed this, but Adobe is currently working on integrating the ability to lip sync dubs of your videos. So you could be speaking in English, but then also translate that video to German and have the lips move along with the German language being spoken. Very much the same way that, say, HeyGen or Pika are doing the lip sync right now. That will be baked inside Adobe products. And here's a little example of what that could look like. Hola, estamos trabajando en manera fácil de traducir y doblar videos. Wait, what? Oh, se traducción es genere par l'IA. I'm working on this with my team, the speech AI team at Adobe Research. Hi. Hi. Can we take a sneak into what that means? Sure. With the technology, you can upload your video and have it dub and translate into various languages. It will match your voice and it will generate new leap motions to match those languages. Wait, wait, wait. Es ist ganz einfach. Wir freuen uns sehr darüber. Siamo così entusiasti di questo. È facile, stiamo molto animati con questo. Stiamo molto entusiasmati con questo. Nous sommes très enthousiastes à ce sujet. We're so excited about this. Then you've got AI generated music. Now we've been going nuts recently over tools like Udio and Suno, but you may have missed the fact that Adobe are actually working on their own generative music right inside their apps coming soon. And I think this is going to be a game changer. Have a look at this. I can uh, take an input melody that sounds like this. This. And then you can generate the accompaniment, in this case, some, some film music. That's cool. That's just from a prompt? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to hear something else? Yeah, let's, let's do hip hop. All right, one sec. <laughs> okay. Check out this other example where I can control the intensity up or down. That was intense. <laughs> did you write any songs? Yeah, I actually yeah. do make music. What type of songs do you write? Um, I like to write love songs. <laughs> love songs? <laughs> All right. I, I got some, <laughs> some, some uh, R&B music. R&B music, OK. With a little chorus verse intro type thing. Yeah, take a listen. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, I can definitely hear the difference between the chorus and the beginning of the song. And th it generated that by itself? Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. What about loops? I need loops all the time for my videos. We can generate loops just from a text prompt. Take a listen to this. That's cool, man. So sometimes I have videos, but the music isn't long enough. Do you have a solution for that? Yeah, check this out. I can take this classical piece of music and, and make it longer. All right, here's the, the lengthened one. That's cool, it created a whole different sequence for it. So what else can you do with this? Oh, you can actually combine all these things together. So I can, for example, take the length extension and also fade it out. And that demo actually featured Adobe Audition, so I'm hopeful maybe Adobe Audition will get a little sprinkle of Adobe AI Magic 2 at some point in the future soon. And get this, if you thought you'd seen everything, Adobe also announced to NAB in Las Vegas that they're going to be offering 11,000 free sound effects, high quality stuff directly in Premiere Pro. So you know the way you can currently go into the Essential Sound Panel and search for music and drag and drop it from Adobe Stock? Well, it'll be kind of similar to that integration where you can preview these sound effects right inside Adobe Premiere Pro and enhance your creations, whether they're video creations or podcasts that you're creating in Premiere Pro, you'll be able to put them straight into a project right there natively without having to download and drag files in. It's going to be really, really cool. So with these developments and more, Adobe isn't just keeping up with the future. I, I think they're creating it and leading it. And I really mean that. I see features being released everywhere. And when I see great stuff, I will call it. Like, for instance, DaVinci Resolve introducing the ability to do stem splitting and noise reduction in a way I think is really unique. Go and watch the video I made about that. That's really cool. But all these features are set to roll out either sometime this year or in the very near future. Fingers crossed for everything this year. That would be an incredible time for us Adobe users. So thanks for joining me for this little update on Adobe's all-in tactics on AI. And remember to like and subscribe for more stuff like this. If you want to learn some groundbreaking AI tools that you can use right now, in particular generative music and stuff that you can do with video as well, go and watch the video that's showing on your screen now. It's on my new channel called Creator Magic, where I'm covering all the AI tools in detail. I'll see you over at that video.